So this is my second year lecturing in the program and I found the students to be uh, very insightful and uh, critical in their thinking. Uh, the physical infrastructure of the place is uh, just fantastic and of course the city of Prague is a wonderful place to spend time. I can't speak highly enough about this program that Professor Seema has put together. I'm really proud to be part of the master's program here at the Severo Institute and the reason is that people from all over the world come to one of the greatest places in the world, Prague. We have classes that are taught in English, but people read, they bring in all sorts of resources. But the, the real advantage is what students are able to learn from each other. Much of the real learning in a PPE program is not going to be just from the faculty, though that's important. It's the fact that you get to be challenged, both in your views, your conclusions, your approaches, by students that have different backgrounds and a different way of thinking about things you thought you understood. I think this master's program is one of the best places I've seen about dealing with those sorts of differences. There's a dirty secret about academics. Academic disciplines are mostly built for faculty because we specialize, we do research at the cutting edge of very small questions. Now we hope that integration takes place in the minds of our students, but that seems unlikely unless you have a setting where you're actually challenged in those views. A lot of people in economics, when you talk about an ethical problem, they'll just say, no, I don't know anything about ethics. All we can talk about is Pareto optimality. Well, that actually won't cut it if you're going to be a leader. PPE from 1925 in Oxford until now has been primarily a leadership program. It's for the elite students who recognize they need something more than just a particular discipline that they've specialized in. It allows them to make contributions in politics, in business leadership, at the forefront of all sorts of movements that without PPE they're going to find themselves short.